Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabajin. And today's scripture is James chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, and it reads as follows. If any man among you seem to be observant and bridles not his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this man's observance is vain. Pure observance and undefiled before Yah and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Is your observance vain? Here in verse 27, it says, if any man among you seem to be observant and bridles not his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this man's observance is vain. So if you are, you know, doing all of the things that you know, seem to be right. If you look religious, okay. If you are, you know, worshiping and praying and reading your Bible and all of this stuff, but you can't control your tongue. You can't control what you're saying out of your mouth. You can't stop using profanity. You can't stop using vulgarity. You can't stop gossiping. You can't stop backbiting. You can't stop hurting people with your tongue. Then all of the other things that you may be doing that are good Is all in vain. It just falls in the category of religion. It's it's empty. Because you don't know how to control your tongue. And that a, a lot of people are in that category. You know, they're going to church or they're attending, uh, attending an assembly, you know, they're, they're wearing the right clothes. They, you know, they look the part. But when you listen to how they speak, what they say out of their mouths, how they talk to people, the tongue is out of control. So anything else that you're doing that in and of itself may be the right thing is in vain. It's it's to no avail because you've got to get yourself under control. You've got to get your mouth, your tongue under control. Because if you're having a hard time controlling your mouth, people are going to cancel out everything else that you're doing that may actually be the right thing. (laughs) So we've got to remember that. You know, all of us have had problems with controlling our tongues at different points and times. You know, Very few things that I say, you know, all of us, (laughs) because, you know, I really don't like to generalize, but there are times with probably that all of us that are, you know, gathered together right now, you know, watching this video, (laughs) listening to this video that have said the wrong things with our tongue. And didn't have control with what we said or how we said it or when we said it. You know, a lot of times we're saying the wrong, saying something at the wrong time. And that's also a part of controlling our tongues, knowing when to speak. 
and not speaking out of turn. So, is your observance in vain? Then in verse 27, it says, pure observance and undefiled before Yah and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So now it's talking about being pure, being genuine, being undefiled before Yah and the Father. It says, is this? And then it goes on to tell you what you should be doing to have pure observance that is undefiled. Visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and keep yourself unspotted from the world. Are you looking out for the people who don't have any fathers or don't have any parents at all? People who have lost their their spouses who have lost their uh who have lost their their husbands you know these are the people who need help who need to be looked after who need assistance and to keep himself unspotted from the world so are you allowing yourself to be affected spiritually by the world system? Are you going along with what society says is the right thing to do, that's trending, that's acceptable? Are you allowing yourself to get sucked in, pulled in, entangled, and next thing you know, you're committing the same sins as the world? Or are you observing the commandments of Yah and not allowing yourself to get spotted by the world with sin? You've got to ask yourself that question. I have to ask myself that question. Because if we're getting sucked in and we're getting spotted, we're getting, you know, spiritually dirty. You know, with the sins of this world, that anything that we are doing that is right. Is no good. It's not pure observance. It's not undefiled. If we're not visiting the fatherless and the widows in their affliction. So we should be looking out for these categories of people. We should be looking out for the fatherless and the widows in their affliction in their time of trouble, in their tribulation. You know, people who are poor. We, sh we, be we should be looking for ways to help people in their time of need. We should be doing that. And that word, that conjunction, and... Because some people might be saying, well, I'm, I'm looking out for, you know, the fatherless and the widows. I'm visiting them. I'm helping them in their time of affliction. I'm, I, you know, I help out the poor. But that conjunction and. Are you keeping yourself unspotted from the world? Are you getting sucked in to what society says is trending? normal, legal, you know, because 
there are so many sins that, you know, society has legalized the nail. <laughs> so we got to be careful about that, that we don't get sucked in to doing what society has normalized or legalized. And next thing you know, you are being spotted spiritually by the world and the world system and what society says is right. Because a lot of things that are normalized and are considered right nowadays is actually sin and is evil and is wicked and iniquity. And it is wrong in the eyesight of Yah. So we've got to examine ourselves. This is a time we need to take out that spiritual checklist. This is, the, this is one of these passages of scripture where we need to take out our spiritual checklist to a spiritual inventory and look at these two verses and ask ourselves, you know, am I bridling my tongue? Or am I just deceiving my own heart? Because my mouth and how I use my tongue is out of control. Is my observance pure and undefiled before Yah? Not to you, but before Yah. According to his standard, not our own, but his. And are we visiting the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and, and keeping ourselves unspotted from the world? So these are the things that we have to look at. Even though we may be doing a lot of things that are right. We might be following the commandments of the Most High Yah in other areas. But if we are not doing what we're supposed to be doing in these areas listed here, then everything else that we're doing, everything else that we're observing is in vain. And with that, I will leave you with Shalom.